Hi cuties, welcome back to the vlog. I wanted to say hey. It's January 17th. I didn't really vlog yesterday, I was really busy, but I'm back today. I wanted to do one update before we get started, and that is that my rash is almost gone. If you've been following along, you know that I got a rash starting in like August when I was in Europe. Anyways, they prescribed me a ivermectin cream, which is like anti-parasitic, and so far it has worked pretty well. I'm just doing some work. It's 1230. I also have a little snack plate here. Some apples, crackers and cheese, some peanut butter. Oh, I see some of my cracker got into my peanut butter. Yeah. Welcome back. So happy you're here. And thank you all for your incredibly kind words in the last couple of vlogs and just your support. I love y'all so much. Okay, I said hi yesterday and then I very quickly said bye and I haven't spoken to you or picked up my camera since. I have been, I don't know, just, I don't want to be like, oh, I've been busy. But I just kind of have been focused and a lot of the stuff that I have going on behind the scenes is just boring to film. First, I want to talk about my socks though. I bought a cute pair of socks yesterday. Was it yesterday? No, it was Monday. They're from Still Life in Victoria, but they're Le Bon Shop. I always see my friends, my, one of my friends Zoe always wears, is it Zoe? She always wears red socks and it looks so cute. Anyways, I wanted to pop on here and talk about some books that I are on my to read list. I'm currently reading Alone With You in the Ether by Olivia Blake. I don't love it. I, you know when you don't love a book and you go into Goodreads and look at all the reviews and you're like trying to understand the good reviews and then you see the one bad review that you just connect with so much. I honestly think I might have to shelf it. I rarely do that because I really hate not finishing things, um, especially when it comes to books, but I just really don't like it. So anyways, I picked up Black Swans um, by Eve Babbitts. I haven't read anything by her and I would really like to. So I picked this up from Monroe's, which is a great bookstore here in Victoria. Uh, so yeah, I got that. I don't know if I'm gonna read this next or Sarah got this for me for Christmas and she also got it from her boyfriend for Christmas So I think we're gonna maybe read it at the same time, but she is currently in law school because she's a badass B-I-T-C-H and I think it's kind of probably gonna be hard for her to read it. So maybe I'll read it solo. Also, I split my lip a couple days ago. I was like but you know when you're doing your makeup and you get like concealer or whatever makeup on your lips and so you want to like wipe it off so I like grabbed a dry piece of tissue and I guess that my lip had already been kind of dry and I just like tore it open. Anyways, uh, I woke up to like a big thing of blood here this morning and it's it's really hard to like laugh and smile and stuff. This hasn't happened to me since I was a kid. It's very, very humbling. Anyways, um, The Idiot by Elif Bottoman. Batuman. I'm uh, excited to read this. Obviously, this is an extremely popular book right now, and sometimes I do really enjoy reading what everyone else is reading. So I think I'm going to start this next. I might try and finish that other book. I don't know. I only have like about 100 more pages, so maybe I should just do it, but it's been very hard for me to pick it up. The first little bit was pretty good. I was like, okay, yeah, I can get this, but I don't know. It just wasn't what I was expecting. And then, did I already talk about this? My boyfriend got this for me for Christmas. Um, the Winter of Our Discontent by John Steinbeck. Um, I think both of our favorite books are East of Eden, so um, we wanted to read another John Steinbeck book together. Obviously, I think most people have read Of Mice and Men. I've never read this one though, so. Um, but I think he got it at Russell's because it has like the used sticker on it. Russell's is a great book bookstore. Sorry, um, here in Victoria, if you want to get some used books. Anyways, that is all I wanted to talk about this morning. I have been a little bit stumped as for as for <laughs> as far as like content to film and stuff like that. I've been really wanting to do a video based on sort of like getting back into a little bit of a routine. So I think starting now I'm going to do that. And I just want to preface this by saying that it's Wednesday and it's okay to start your routine halfway through the week. There are no guidelines and no rules to how you live this life. I think that is something that we all need to remember <laughs> because um, I think it can be really overwhelming trying to conform to certain ideals of like what is a proper routine or like good habits or whatever. So it's Wednesday and I'm going to start being in a little bit of a more of a routine starting I guess tomorrow morning. I don't know. Today 
I did buy an intro yoga pass, one month yoga pass, so gonna try and start doing yoga. I don't know. Anyways, okay. That's it for now. I just had more of, I just had another like cheese and crackers and apple snack plate. It's been my latest obsession. <laughs> out to do a vlog about my routine and getting back into it and totally failed so here we are I just have like a bunch of random clips I was in Vancouver over the weekend to see Jadu Heart <laughs> Such a phenomenal show far exceeded my expectations and it was at fortune sound club which is a club in vancouver that i actually used to frequent quite a bit so it was a little bit funny being back in there i hadn't been in there since i was like gosh 21 so that was fun i went with my boyfriend and one of my best childhood friends tyler and we had a great time we went to indian food before that we went to sula on main street it was really good and yeah, I'm not gonna bore you with all the details of the things that I didn't film with them when I was in Vancouver, but I did wanna share a dear lip gloss I got. I went and hung out with my best friend, Nadia, while I was at home, and we went to the mall. And I got this Dior Lip Maximizer in number two. It's like this clear kind of pearlescent one, and it has like the tingly bits in it, so it just feels nice. Anyways, uh, thank you for being patient with me and keeping up with this vlog. I'm hoping that this next one that I start filming today, which will be 
up after this one goes a little bit better and is a little bit more structured because this is a little bit all over the place but you know what that's my life so i'm not going to sit here and justify it anymore it is what it is i love you all so much and i will see jeez that car i will see all your beautiful faces in the next one